Hi everyone, my partner and I moved to a new place recently so I just wanted to share with you what you can get in Wellington, New Zealand for 540 NZD per week. Neither of us own a car but we walk a lot so the location was one of the most important things when we are looking for a flat. Then we found this one, it takes only 10 minutes on foot to town and about 30 minutes to work so that was the perfect location. This house was built in the 1890s, which means there are a lot of old creaky floors and lots of weird ideas. But as you can see, it has so much character. So I really loved it when I found this one. So, should we get started? Alrighty, this is the pathway to the flat. There is beautiful botanical stuff in the way and also two ponds. Lots of sea snails and mosquitoes live in this pond, so we are planning to put a few goldfish soon. We've already got names for them. One will be called Dubu and the other one will be called Mandu. There are three units in this house by the way, two downstairs and one upstairs. Our flat is one of the two downstairs flats just right here. Welcome to my flat. This is the landing. So there is a hook for rain jackets here because we don't use umbrellas in New Zealand. We wear rain jackets instead. There is a shoe shelf here. I'm from South Korea, so wearing shoes inside my house is unacceptable. In New Zealand, some people prefer wearing shoes inside, some don't. But I reckon it's getting more common to take off shoes inside these days. Anyway, we're gonna taking off our shoes and getting inside now. This is the hallway of the house. As this house is built in the 1890s, it has quite tall ceilings and well decorated arches. This is a hallway table. We put our wallet, keys and sunnies here when we get home. And then, here is the bedroom. A dresser, a built-in cabinet, and bed, and also a few art pieces are on this side. This cute little thing is called a serving hatch. This room might have been a dining room or something and people use this window to pass through food. These days we use it to pass through coffee or breakfast so we can have breakfast in bed on the weekends. And here is a little collection of postcards and artworks I've collected from traveling. There are about 20 indoor plants in this house because we both like having plants at home. Some of the plants are from the previous tenants but the rest of them have been with us for many years now. This cool looking floor lamp came with the flat. We mostly only use lamp lights in the evening so this has been very useful. Over here there is a desk that I'm using for work. I'm a software engineer and I used to work from home three days a week. Having a nice work setup is really important for me to have a productive work day. I also store an amp, my second-hand electronic guitar and other musical equipment next to my desk so I can connect them to my laptop easily whenever I need to. Passing through the hallway, here we go. This is our living room. 
By the way, most of our furniture in this flat is secondhand. I don't like buying new stuff in general, but if I have to buy something, I look for it secondhand first. If I can't find the secondhand, I do lots of research and try to buy a product from the most ethical company as possible. This is my favorite space in the house. Especially around here. We found this rocking chair and blue chairs from secondhand stores in Wellington. I love the color combination of this two and the curtain. They really create a nice and cozy atmosphere in the living room which I wanted so much. My partner found this very old vintage radio. This one actually works perfectly. We usually turn this on while we are in the house, especially when we are cooking. This is the kitchen, just next to the living room. I love having an open living area like this. The kitchen looks pretty full, eh? This is a kitchen table and it can be extended. Most of the time we use this table as a kitchen island. But when people come over, we extend the table and bring the three blue chairs to take seats. The other thing that I like about this house is it all has a wooden floor and a wooden kitchen top. It feels so natural. There is a huge door next to the kitchen. Look at this lock and the key. It looks so old fashioned. This door might have been used as a main door back in the day because I think the area outside of this door might have been built more recently. From this door, there is a bathroom and another room here. This room is half the size of the bedroom and we use it as a little study room. And this is the bathroom. Honestly, nothing very special. Then if I go through this back door, I'll be able to see a beautiful view of Wellington Harbour. There are a few garden patches and we also have a little shed here. We store my bike, swimming gear and other garden stuff in the shed. In the garden, we planted lettuce, Palilla leaves and parsley, but then so many weeds starting to growing, so we have little more work to do. But we've got this huge rosemary in the garden. I like to rub it and smell it. Then here is the cloth lines that we use to dry our clothes. It's spinning. This outdoor area is getting quite interesting from here. Here comes the highlight of this flat. There is a huge avocado tree. This is a huge perk of living in this flat. I love eating avocados, but farming avocado is not very sustainable. However, this tree only grows with rainwater, which is very sustainable, and it tastes so good. I pick one or two each week like this, leave it in the kitchen for a week, and then when it gets ripe, I make avocado on toast, avocado on bagels, avocado pasta, avocado dips, and so many things. And this is a worm farm. There are about a few hundred worms currently living on this farm. I put organic waste here, and then after a few months, it turns into excellent compost. I use the compost to grow vegetables in the veggie garden. Then, like this, there is another level in the garden. If you walk all the way to the top, there is a little bench and a table where you can have a nice lunch or coffee outside. This is a viewpoint. You can have an amazing view of Wellington Harbour, Mount Vic and the town. 
Awesome! This is all about the house. Hope you enjoyed the remote tour of my new flat. I'll see you next time. Bye!